my brother at, at one point um, actually kind of physically disowned me at one point and uh, was like, you know, I don't want my stepdaughter growing up around around you, so, or you, your type. My name is Blair Hamilton. I am a trans woman athlete in football. I didn't fit in. That was um, always I always felt out of place um, because obviously I knew about who I was. So obviously I knew about myself when I was at that point. I was 25, 26, 27. and uh, so I was you know I knew something. I knew obviously I didn't. I wasn't a man, you know that sort of thing. Like uh, so, I was I was out of place. And to be fair to my teammates in that team. Um, they were very, very, you know, welcoming. They like I told them about it. I was very honest, as I always am. Um, so I told them about it, but they were very supportive about it. They didn't really care. L listen, you know, live and let live. That was their kind of motto. It's like you're a great goalkeeper. Like we're very lucky to have you. That sort of thing. And obviously, I was there at the, you know, the met with the men's team, the men's team's table. I was in a dress, you know, I was dolled up to, to the high to the high ends, you know. And then basically, it was the women's team that, that kind of like grabbed me and goes, "Wait a minute, like you don't belong there. Why don't you come here?" And it was that's when I was like, "Oh, why don't you play women's football?" I was like, "Well, I didn't think I had the option." It's like, "Well, we can investigate for you." I was that's just maybe what. April 2018. Um, I was training with the women's team, but I was also still playing, finishing the season with the men's team. They would have my back no matter what. Say, listen, once you know, once the authorities have cleared you to play. No one has, you know, any means to, you know, bully you or, you know, give you abuse or anything like that. You went through all the proper channels. Like, you are, you know, you're amazing. Like, just keep your head up high and keep going. We've got your back. So, obviously, that gave me supreme confidence to, to make that step. And, you know, I'm very, very happy I did. I wouldn't feel comfortable going in, in a you know a suit or a kilt or anything like that. Like I'd only feel comfortable going in a dress. Blah blah. blah. Like I am who I am. I'm really sorry. Like give the ticket to someone else. And to be honest, the reply to that um, that you know heart spill moment was unbelievable. Every single one of them were like, it doesn't bloody matter. Like if you want to come in a dress, come in a dress. Like. Like you're part of the, the team, you're part of the group, you know, just just be yourself. Mm. And that was that was the day, and I will say this, and like this is because of them, that was the day that I fully, fully accepted myself. Family side of things has been has been fairly difficult. Um, you know, I love my family to death, and you know they will always be my family. But they are um, a bit of the you kind know, of old school mentality of uh, you know this isn't right. You shouldn't do this. That sort of thing. Um, my brother at, at one point um, actually kind of physically disowned me. At one point, uh, was like you know I don't want my stepdaughter growing up around around you, so, or you, your type. In terms of my parents right now, um, it's kind of an, an elephant in the room. And uh, we kind of, we've just got, we've learned to live with, with each other over it. They've turned and said to me, listen, you'll always be my son. You know, that that's it, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right, okay, if, like, I, I can take that. 
you know, that's, that's a battle I'm not going to win. So I'm quite happy just to, you know, to live by that. And, and when we, make, we do make do. So, um, like, even I was up f- over Christmas and New Year there for two weeks and, you know, we had a great time. So, you know, it's, it's diffi- it was difficult to start off with. And I think the main thing that they were they were disappointed with me over was the fact that I, I was pretty secretive with it, them about it. My dad's massively into football. He's more a, he's more into rugby, but he's massively into football. So that's where he's really into sport. So that's where we have our, our bond, really. Are we sit and, you know, we text each other like, oh, that was a, a ridiculous tackle, or that's a red card, even the football, mm-hmm. the same sort of thing. Or, you know, if something's ridiculous at halftime, I'll phone him and be like, oh, that was, you know. The main thing that I can really praise my dad with, and I really can praise him with this, is even though through all this situation, and all this, I will say, I'd have probably done it differently if I could. He has not ever changed the way he treated me. He's not that that relationship's never diminished. You have a place to be in this this world. Like you don't have to be scared to be you. Mm. Um, and also don't su- don't suppress it because you know be happy to be an individual be happy to you know to be your true authentic self because once you do as you look at my example you know opportunities and doors will open mm.